Maza. They go straight to the Maza. Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Open his Maza. Then he dance with my cha cha. Open his Maza. They go straight to the Maza. Then I'm up in the chopper, hitting the cha cha. Then I'm open his Maza. Then he dance with my cha cha. Hey, my cuties. How y'all feeling today? I hope y'all feeling very well today. So today I'm gonna give my own opinion, thought to two young ladies that I am gonna talk about. First and foremost, I'm just going to put this one out the way. Nike PRP, if you know, CJ Baby Mama, had put out a video that she is doing an interview with no other than Tasha K. For those that don't know Tasha K, Tasha K is well known for, you know, bashing or talking her, what would you want to say, her shit. Um, celebrity she may cover or whatever. Uh, as well, you may know her. She had lost her case, do I uh, think her case towards Cardi B. So she's very known for that, but that's neither here nor there. That's who she's doing the interview with. At the end of the day, what is the interview about? I do not know. But to me, I feel like the saga is going to continue. And it's sad because somebody got to be the bigger person and just drop it. I'm not, I am not. can't speak on it, what she's talking about. Maybe she's talking about the CJ situ- situation maybe she's talking about the incident or maybe she could be talking about herself i really do not know but at the end of the day we just gotta sit and wait till they drop the interview and we'll be able to see and then we give our own opinions and thoughts of the whole situation but other than that you know she, let's give her credit she is grinding let's give her credit she is chasing the bag let's give her credit she is trying to you know put herself and her name out there for she could be able to secure her back for herself and her family to maintain her family not give her credit at the end of the day chase the bag if you ain't hurting no one do what you gotta do to support your family kudos to her so i will be i will be stay tuned to watch the interview she is going to put out so let's go roll on down to no other than miss royalty royalty is cj other baby mom for other people that that does not know she has two twins by CJ. She also put a video out, and that, she also put a video out. But that video, she was like getting, you know, I think getting ready for her birthday. You see her daughter flat on her hair, you know, doing her nails, and then that cuts off to another vid, you know, to another segment of the video where she says she enjoyed her vid- her birthday, you know. But she also says in that video that she, I got from that video that she is tired. She says she is tired of, you know, of everything. She just wants things. And I think she's talking to no other than her baby father, CJ. She says she is tired of the bullshit. She ain't said bullshit, but I'm going to say it. She's tired of the bullshit. She said if he is not going to step up to take care of what he has to take care of, then for him to shut it, for him to leave him alone. For him just to go on with his life and leave him alone. If he's not willing to step up, that he knows what he got to do. So it's no need for her. To, I think she's trying to say go back and forth with the situation. I think she is mentally, physically, and emotionally. Because when you could be mentally, physically, you know, emotionally just tired of everything, spiritually, your spirit become drained overall. So she is trying to say she's drained from the situation. She is drained from the drama. She just want to be left alone. She also said for the people that does not like her and for the people that does always like bash her or criticize her or drag her to the floor, y'all just don't have to be in tune to watch the things that she said. I mean, the things that she puts out there on YouTube, which I understand. But people that does commentary like myself and many other, we do, you know, watch videos to give our own commentary some do it give it harsh some do take it the very hard way and then got others like me that we just get, i mean personally like me i genuinely give my own opinions and thoughts i try not my best not to get too in tune because at the end of the day i don't know these people personally to even drag her i know i say i dis. i know at some point in time i did say i dislike her but i stop and question myself as a woman how am I going to dislike a person without knowing that person? How am I going to dislike her for what she's just doing and putting out there? I can't say I dislike Nike. I can't say I dislike Royalty. I can't say I dislike CJ. I can't say all other people I covered because I don't know them personally. 
what I could say, I sometimes dis, what I should have said, I dislike their attitude, how they present themselves on social media. So I think it was wrong for me to say that. And I'm a woman enough to stand up to say, I shouldn't have said it, you understand? Because that's wrong. At the end of the day, if I do commentary, it's just stay commentary or talking. I give my own opinion on thoughts on how I feel about the situation. How I feel about the situation, what she said on that. Sometimes when you are tired, you have to just fall all the way back. You know, reset yourself. And just start pushing away from people, places, and things that just brings you drama. And that drains your soul. If someone constantly has to be full of drama and being toxic and you know they just going to be on a level where you know it's going to take you out of your character, out of your peace, then it's best for you as an individual, it could be family, friend, just to cut them off completely. At this point, she does have a kid by him, so it's kind of hard for her to distance herself from him. But I hope some way, somehow, that he can, they can meet each other halfway and end this stigma that they got going on and just do it for the sake of the kids. And if he's not willing to do that, if he's willing to continue to stay in his narrative way, then the best thing she could do is just push all the way back until he gets himself together. I feel, yes, the kid's going to be affected. And I hope he could see that and he could, because I, like I say, I don't know him personally. He may be a good person, but he just has stuff that he has to fix the way she has stuff that he has, she has to fix as well, too. At the end of the day, these are two humans. These are two like myself. So at the end of the day, I cannot sit here and bash them. I cannot sit here and trash them because at the end of the day, I'm not benefiting nothing or you know, blessing myself by bashing somebody else. So that's neither here and there. But how I got from the video that she is tired. So I'm going to say, baby girl, if you is tired, stop engaging. Genuinely stop engaging into the drama. Just, if you have to say your last words, what you got to say and then pull all the way back. And say your last words and pull all the way back. And this goes for Nike as well. If you, Nike, if you was tired from the whole situation, you have to eliminate yourself from the people, places, the thing. Even though if it hurts you, you have to fall all the way back and just re both ladies refocus your mindset all over again and stay, you know, stay with your adrenaline very high. On your dreams that y'all want to accomplish out there. Your goals y'all want to get out there and accomplish. For you, at the end of the day, yourself and your family are set. As for CJ as well, well, that goes for him as well too. He has to be focused. But that's either here and there. My own opinions and thoughts for this situation. If they want drama, if they don't want drama, stop creating the drama. If they don't want drama, stop putting Stop opening your mouth with drama and toxicity. So when you put that shit out there into existence into this world, people that does commentary, people that does reaction, people that does T pages, we just gonna grab it and give our own opinion. Thought like I said, some are harsh, some are not, and that's the sad end of the truth. When people are covering whatever they want to cover, but at the end of the day, I just wish both all three parties nothing but blessings but let's see how this goes will she be able to fall all the way back from the drama will her and cj be able to come to amends and stop all this nonsense would they i really don't know but i'm asking y'all your own opinions adult. what do you feel do you feel like it's a right move for nike to have do that interview with tasha k do you feel that's going to start more drama or do you feel something pertaining to us with her life? Do you feel like, like I feel, if royalty or Nike or CJ wants the drama to end, to so stop engaging it, stop opening the mouth too much, and just fall all the way back and refocus? Do y'all feel like it's going to stop? Or do you feel like the saga will continue? Like I said, each and every one of y'all are entitled to your own opinions. I will never discriminate your opinions. Like I say, y'all will get a heart from me. As long as y'all don't be nasty to the mouth of me and disrespectful, we'll be cool at the end of the day. So I respect. But at the end of the day, 
I wish each and every one of you love, peace, and light, and blessings. I love to know your own, love to know your opinions and thoughts on the comments down below. But remember, keep your head up, keep striving for the best. Until then, it's your girl Queen Rose. And I'm out to the next video. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I'll see y'all in the next video. Open his spot,